it's always a delight to follow Italian football. Martin Tyler here with you again. Alan Smith is with me again. And we have Calcio, our football for you. And today it's Napoli against Juventus. An opportunity to see how far Juventus have come. It's where they would have wanted to be, top of the table at this late stage. And all about keeping the nerve and applying themselves. Concentration, a big factor. We have a high-scoring team, the highest, in fact, in the league, against the side with the best defence. It really should be a terrific contest. Yeah, interesting to see which he's going to give, if indeed either. Whether we will see a lot of goals or not, I don't know. It's Napoli's lineup. Pepe Reina starts in goal. Lorenzo Insigne starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. And they just go with the one striker up front. The Juventus lineup then. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Giorgio Chiellini plays with Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Sami Kadira plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. Gonzalo Higuain is the sole striker today. Beautiful city, Naples, and uh, the football team very much at the core of it, Napoli. Yeah, I mean, you could go back to the uh, days of Diego Maradona, can't you? When uh, they were absolutely fervent in support of him and his teammates, and it's the same now. San Milano is the official today. So, Juventus get us underway here. Higuain on the attack. Sami Kadira. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Insignia. And shoots! Just wide of the target. Sami Kadira. Higuain. He's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Dybala. Juventus on the attack. And it's a shot now. Very good stop here to put them in front. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Tight against the touchline. Pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw in. Sami Kadira. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Kadira. Able to ease the pressure by that interception. Jose Callahan. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Gigi Buffon gets the ball now from the back pass. Opportunity now! At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. The corner that Juventus have got to try and cope with.
Well, it's a corner by that deflection. One of the goalkeeping legends, Buffon, and he's still doing it. Look at this. And he's a big lad as well. He fills that goal. And he's headed it goalwards. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Shots on here. Goalkeeper hangs on. Doing well to keep the ball. Oh, can you believe it? It is a penalty. The referee shows a yellow card to Chiellini. You see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge, but it's definitely a foul. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle. It was badly timed. He scores from the spot. And he's one of the lads who really wants to take on this responsibility, and it showed. Yeah, he's a man you can depend on in these situations because he does keep a clear and cool head. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And Bala. Good forward play from them. Letting the shot go! He's reached it and turned it aside. Gula. Mertens. Saw the pass coming and got there first. It was good progress with this attack. It's in here. A well saved. Corner kick given. Whatever has Callahan. Good work by the goalkeeper. Spotted well by the defender. Cut it out. Insignia. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Mertens. He's got a score. Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, the goalkeeper was absolutely stranded and left the goal gaping. Well, it was an easy goal in the end. The kind that you wouldn't expect to get at this level. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Building steadily here, keeping possession. It's nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they put. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. Well, they've shown that they can score we know that they can do that but it's still plenty in the game as we reach half time they've got so many avenues from which they can score and uh, that's why they do boast this fine scoring record
So the referee's happy. The players are in position. The second half gets underway. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. They cope with it well defensively. Gula. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And shoots! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. And the rest done well here. The cross can come in. Miralem Pjanic. The break is definitely on. Shot on! Juventus has scored. Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. Start the game 2 1. Raul Albiol. Substitution for Napoli. Miralem Pjanic on the attack here. Gonna try one now. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Gula. Napoli substitution coming up. And getting into attacking positions here, Juventus. Get it! Oh, charge down. Miralem Pjanic. Good passing here. Big by eight. Oh, it's the post. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Into the attacking third. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Here's a chance. Shot go! Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. Well, the manager's got to take a risk or two now, hasn't he, to try and improve their fortunes. And he's taking off one of the better individuals, I guess, to try and get the team functioning better. Yeah, not the obvious candidate to be brought off. I'm a little bit surprised, but uh, the manager knows best, as they say.
Endlich Steiner. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. And attacking now Juventus. Surely. Higway! A great work by the keeper. Oh, it's a corner now for Juventus. There's some potential in this move. He's got his shot off now. And the offside is given. And they've got two players warmed up and ready to come on. Still a few minutes left for Juventus to try and get something from the game, but it doesn't look likely in truth. Attacking now. He's going to try it. And it's a goal here. That's a great piece of tactical awareness by the manager and by the player himself, who's put the instructions into practice. To put on a show and we're enjoying it everybody except the opposition is enjoying this it's not often when you are allowed to create this many chances so why not they'll keep on pushing i'm sure the scoreline as we restart the game Mario Marquisio good forward play from them good pass getting it forward Insigne Shots on here. Now that will be a corner. <laughs> now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Well, it is a free kick, and uh, they're excited by this. It's a real chance to at least work the goalkeeper. a terrific free kick and the goalkeeper totally outwitted by that and the ball bulges the back of the net well, that 
is delightfully taken. Well, as soon as they won that free kick, you could see what was on the horizon. What a take. Super strike, splendid goal. Restart again, 4-1. Never much doubt about which team was going to win this one. The referee has blown the final whistle, 4-1, the final score. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment is a key. Uh, and they've lost a the game that they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice. So plenty of work on the training ground next week.